three, three, two. Welcome to Open to Hope TV. I'm here with Dr. Gloria, founder and CEO of the Open to Hope Foundation. How are you today, Dr. I'm, Gloria? I'm great, Chris. It's great to be with you today. It's great to have you here. Gloria, could you share with our audience a little bit about how you got involved in the field of grief and loss? I'd be glad to do that. Well, in 1983, I was working at the University of Rochester as a clinical nurse specialist in psychiatry, and one of my expertise was grief and loss. I worked on burn units, I worked on intensive care, very involved, and then my son Scott, who was 17, was killed in an automobile accident. And at that time, uh, I was really taken back in shock. I thought I knew the field, and suddenly I had a personal experience, and that moved me into looking more into this area. Well, based upon that experience you had with your son and it becoming more personal as opposed to academic, um, how do you now feel about grief and loss? Well, I think that I've learned a lot about it. I really didn't have any idea uh, what the journey was like, and, and now I do. And what I'd have to say about grief and loss is it is a journey, and we've opened, started our Open to Hope Foundation because this journey is one that you can find hope at the end, and a lot of healing, and a lot of really wonderful things have actually come out of my journey and experience in grief. We've talked about telling your story, and um, why is that important? Well, I think early on, people really need to have the opportunity to tell their story about what happened, how someone died, how they feel about it. They really need to kind of get that story down and talk about details, you know, how the accident happened, how the person died, and what it meant to them. So it's important to, to tell your story and to get it down. But then it's important to also give up your story and to move on to another story, that story of hope and healing. So what, what do you think about the, the concept that, uh, that you never get over it? I get so tired of hearing people say, oh, you never get over it. And particularly it's interesting because the people who say you never get over it tend to be the people who haven't had the loss. And they're telling parents out there, oh, we're so sorry to hear about the death of your child, or saying somebody, we're hurt, sorry to hear about, about the death of your spouse. You never get over it. Well, you do get over it. You get over suffering. You don't get over them because you never want to get over them. I mean, you want to continue that relationship and that bond with the person that you've loved through pictures and albums and stories and all the wonderful, wonderful, rich things that there are. So you do get over the suffering. Well, what can you tell us about the stages of grief? Well, Kubler-Ross was a wonderful person and had a lot of wonderful ideas about dealing with grief and loss, but she came up with these four stages, and they're just so simplistic. People latched onto them, and they love them. But the reality is anger, denial, depression, acceptance is, is her model. And I know people that have never been depressed. I know people who don't want to accept it. I know people who are going to stay angry, who still move on in their process and go on to have a wonderful life and do a lot of service. Sometimes, like Candy Leitner, who founded Mothers Against Drunk Driving, um, she went on with her anger to do some wonderful things for the world, and, and wonderful things happened. Well, in the stages of grief, how does hope figure into those, into the grieving process? Well, when you first have these tremendous losses, you lose hope because what you hope for is to have that person back. And that is not going to happen. And so when you get to the point where you give up the hope that the person will come back and find a new hope, and the new hope is that you will have a wonderful and rich life, even though that person is only a memory to you now. Well, based upon your experience and then also the experience of the work that you've been doing with the foundation, uh, what would be the best piece of advice you could give to someone who's recently or maybe even not so recently suffered a loss? I would say to them to trust their heart and to lead with their heart because the heart knows the way and let your mind and body follow. Well, that's wonderful advice, Dr. Gloria. Thank you for being with us today. I'd like to encourage everyone to visit www.opentohope.com as well as www.thegriefblog.com. And don't forget to listen to Dr. Gloria and Dr. Heidi on Healing the Grieving Heart on the Voice America Health Network. Thank you, Chris. Thanks, Dr. Gloria.